Hey everyone, welcome back to another writing video. My name's Alyssa and this is my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the author term work in progress tag because I was tagged over the weekend by Luis from Targaryen Princess. So thank you for tagging me, Luis. And hello. Um, I have not been filming that much because my fan lights are literally all burned out. I had turned on, or went to turn my light back on but the last one ended up blowing out. So I've been kind of sitting in the dark in my room. It's kind of bad at night because <laughs> I can only use my laptop and my um, I can't my small IKEA lamp. So I'm trying to film right now. Let me know if this lighting I'm using sunlight. So let me know if that's okay. I have my uh, window open. So yeah, and today the work in progress tag is usually for one book, but I'm working on two books at the moment, so I'll be answering the questions using both of these books. And I have all the questions written down from when I watched Luis's video. I had to go back and rewatch it so that I can uh, write down all the <laughs> questions, but I have them all written down on the next few pages here. And Let's just get into it. So question number one is, what is the working title of your book? And the working title for the first one, which is um, Zamora, and the second one is Your Chains Don't Bind Me. So where did you get the idea for your book from? So Zamora, I don't know. I'm. It's been through multiple ideas before it came to this one, and... Yeah, it, it's just a ongoing thing, kind of. Um, it went through an idea where it was in modern times, and then it went through an idea where it was in the future, and now I'm settled on the past, which is the 14th century, in this entire new world that I created. So it's inspired by the medieval times. But I don't really know where I got the idea from. Um, it was on the 4th of July where I pretty much came up with this. And I came up with it in 2010. Um, with Your Chains Don't Bind Me, however, I was starting to create my first website with um, WordPress, but I didn't really like the layout of that, so I haven't... I, I kind of put that on the back burner and have not gone to that. I have a new website now. I'll link it down below. Um, I don't have my own domain because not really paying for it. But, um, and yeah, so one of the pictures on the site was a picture of chains going across the um, little square. And it was just plain, it just had the picture of chains, and the thought that came to my mind was the title, Your Chains Don't Bind Me. So I ended up quickly writing that down, and I was actually, we were going to my cousin's house in 10, like, within 10 minutes, I remember the day perfectly, um, and I ended up telling the idea to my mom, or showing her the post-it note that I had the title on, which I don't think I have anymore, but that would have been great to keep. Um, and so I showed that to my mom, and told her the idea that I had so far. And then when I was at my cousin's house, I had brought post-it notes with me so that I could start writing it down. And at their island, which we usually all talk around the island, I was just coming up with this whole entire new world that's all angels and wars with angels and stuff like that. Um, I ended up telling it to my cousin Hayden, and he liked the idea. And it ended up just sticking, so I actually came up with it on September... 2nd, I think, or the 1st of, was it this year? I think it may have been this year. Or, no, last year. It was September 1st of last year, so I've had it 
for about a year. Um, question number three is, what genre is your work in progress? So, both of these are dark fantasy. Um, I just love dark fantasy. I love dark things. Um, and, which, you wouldn't guess that if you met me. Um, because a lot of people have not, wouldn't have guessed that. Um, or have not guessed that once I started telling them what I'm working on. They end up being surprised that I like dark fantasy. But, um, your change don't find me is dark fantasy slash dystopian because it is set in our world, but it's also set in the underworld as well. And so that gives me, like, a huge range to work with. And I pretty much flipped our world upside down. And, yeah, so it's dystopian because it's still in on Earth as well. Um, and, yeah, and with Zamora, it's just high fantasy and dark fantasy, because I freaking love fantasy. Um, although, I've been debating on whether or not to save it to work on in the winter, because that's when I really feel the fantasy vibe. Around this time, I feel more, around the summertime, I feel more the dystopian vibe, so, I'm not sure. Um, question number four, choose the actors in your movie rendition of your book. I love this question because I do this all the time when I have ideas for books. When I outline, well, when I've started outlining, because I just started doing that this year, um, I choose actors to represent the characters because it helps me, especially ones that I know, it helps me to actually, um, visualize the character as a person. So, for my main boy in this, Griffin Hale, um, I chose Connor Jessup, and I actually have a slideshow video that I will link in the cards, um, of my fan casting, and I have all the names down below as well in the description of that video, and I have a little video where I put all the avatars that I made for my characters, which I will leave that website link down below as well. Um, but I chose Connor Jessup from Falling Skies, and he's also in American Crime. I started kind of watching American Crime, but he hasn't come, I don't know when he comes in. Um, but he's, oh, he was my favorite Mason in Falling Skies. And when I was watching about season three or four, I realized that he is who I would want to play Griffin. He just had, like, him as a person and him as bit, like, it just meshes together. And also the other main character, which in this draft, which is the fifth draft that I was actually working on before filming this video, um, I have both Griffin and my other main character, Azora. Um, I first pictured Azora being Daniel Radcliffe um, after watching Victor Frankenstein with his uh, extensions in. I thought, that is who Azora needs to be, it's Daniel Radcliffe, and I kind of wrote it for Daniel Radcliffe, or wrote that character for him. Um, if it ever were to get anywhere. Uh, but then I watched Pirates of the Caribbean, the new one, in theaters, and I was like, no, I need him to be Orlando Bloom, because he's an immortal, ro uh, my character is an immortal warlock, and I picture him being kind of in his, like, trapped in his, like, mid-30s, um, or something like that, and Orlando Bloom, as Will Turner. Looks just so perfect to be Azora. And going over to Your Change Don't Bind Me, I picture Robbie and Bell being Nathaniel, who is the main male in my book. He his book is going to be the second one. I have four books in one in this novel, so it's a uh, what's that word called? It's a standalone. That's what I was looking for. And I 
picture Rami Amel being, um, either Rami, no, yeah, Rami Amel being Nathaniel, and then I picture Zendaya being, um, Sariel, who I'm currently writing that story. Um, so, yeah. No, those two are the only ones that I have actors chosen for. I have all the actors chosen for Zamora. I have Bonnie Wright as Zamora. Um, and Emma Watson as Evelyn. Just because she's the perfect actress for Evelyn. And Bonnie Wright is the perfect actress for Zamora. So, yeah, I'm going to make sure this is still recording. Alright, we're still rolling. Sometimes it cuts out, so I just like to make sure. I can talk for ages on actors portraying my characters, because it's so fun. And it's just one of my favorite things to do during the character outlines. And it makes it so much easier to picture them as an actual person. Especially if you've seen, if you've watched the, that certain actor um, as you've grown up. And you kind of know, like, their expressions and how they move and how they speak. It just makes it all easier. Y you know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. Question number five is, what is what the one sentence synopsis of your book? <sighs> I knew I wouldn't be able to come up with any when I came, when I saw this question. Um... I am terrible at synopsis. I was actually talking to Mandy Lynn on Facebook asking for help on creating synopsis or a synopsis. I have a hard time saying that word um, because I have such a freaking hard time. On the back of this, I'll read what I have on the back of this, but I don't think it's going to be the same once I type up the fifth draft, um, which is taking a interesting turn. Uh, anyway, so on this, for this one, I have, um, I have heard of the Element Legends all my life, but I never thought they, that they'd actually be true, or that I would soon be a part of them. My name is Griffin Hale, and I am an, and I am a hunter, but what I hunt is for me to know and you to find out. So that's kind of like the synopsis thing that I have for this. And it's about one, two, three sentences, um, not one. And for your shades don't mind me. I don't know what to say about that one. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything for that because I have to finish the book and then I'll give you guys a, like a little synopsis about it in my all about my novel video for it. Um, what would I say? I don't know. Um, question number six is, will your book be self-published or represented by an agency? So everyone's dream like mine is to be a self or a traditionally published author, but even though I have dreamed all my life of being like J.K. Rowling and having my book on shelves. Um, I actually dream of, I actually want to do self-publishing and I have kind of self-published this at one, one point but then I took it down right after I self-published it because I was paranoid and I knew it wasn't ready and I just felt like I wanted to keep it to myself still. Um, which I feel like is a little selfish, but it, it just wasn't ready, and I think after I write the fifth draft, um, and type it up, I feel like this could be the last couple times that I write it. Um, and I do want to self-publish my novels and not do traditionally published, because I don't want to have to wait, and I want to be able to have full creative access with my book because I created it in the first place so I want creative control and yeah so that explains that. Number seven is how long did it take you to write the first draft of your manuscript? 
I have the answer to it somewhere somewhere. I'm still working on the first draft of your change don't mind me. So can't really answer that. I've been working on it since I think September of last year. Um just kind of off and on because I've been working on Zamora and yeah I think I finished it in September the first draft but I don't have the I have a spiral bound notebook that has the um last part of the first draft in it and I wrote down the day and the time that I uh finished it so if I ever find that again which I hope I do um I will share you with sir, share, share that with you wow sorry for stumbling I will share that with you um but I feel like it was sometime in September but I'm not completely sure I'm not sure on a lot of these questions but that's okay question eight what are books you can compare yours to. I'm always kind of comparing Zamora to Harry Potter because it's the kind of darkness that Harry Potter is. Um, it's just going to be gradually growing and getting darker and darker. Um, Your Chains Don't Bind Me is kind of the darkness of The Walking Dead. Um, and those are the only two books or series that I can really relate those to. Uh, looking at books there. Yeah, I don't. Or The Hunger Games. Your Chains Don't Find Me can go, like, be walking in in The Hunger Games. Um, and Harry Potter would be for Zamora. Yeah. So, question number nine is, who or what has inspired you to write the book? Both my mom and J.K. Rowling. My mom introduced me to the Harry Potter series after she read it, and she's kind of shared her love for reading with me, and I used to actually hate reading and writing, so I, and she read to us every day, um, and I remember it being in the middle of the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. And that's kind of when it clicked. Oh, hey, I actually kind of like this whole reading thing. And then I caught on and my mom told me that when she wouldn't read, um, I would just be like, well, you haven't read to me yet. Um, and I started writing when I was nine shortly after I read the first Harry Potter book, so full thanks to J.K. Rowling and my mother uh, for introducing me to reading and writing and to the fantasy genre because I don't know what I would do without that fantasy genre. Um, question number 10, which is the last question, is what else about your work in progress might pique the reader's interest? Well, I'm not really sure, really sure Zamora is, um, it, it deals with the four elements, fire, water, earth, and air, and also which is born of those elements, so maybe that might pique your interest. I still don't know how my 13-year-old mind came up with that idea, but my 13-year-old self stuck with it. Um, and your teens don't find me, well, half of it is going to be in our world and half of it is going to be in the underworld and there is going to be some stuff going down it's family oriented because i love family oriented novels or stories in general um and i don't know what else to say about your change don't mind me because i don't think i want to give all too much away um, the scene I'm writing right now is actually happening at my house because I'm where the main character lived before she died and became an angel. I decided, hey, I kind of want my house to be her house and kind of share that thing with her. So, yeah.
that that's I guess would that sound interesting? I don't know. Let me know if you guys think these stories sound interesting. I decided to do both of them for this tag because I couldn't choose either one or I couldn't choose just one. I had to choose both of them. Um Anyways, that is the Authortube Work in Progress tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to do this tag, you can do it as well. I don't know anyone to tag, but thank you, Luis, for tagging me. Um, and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.